Hi, this is Eric Sloof from ntpro.nl and in, in this video I'm going to show you an awesome solution for fast storage. So um, what I did is that this is my uh, ESXR server, my write server, and it's hosting Visual Studio 2008. And I'm when I'm going to the settings of this virtual machine, you will see that this virtual machine is uh, getting seven gigabytes of memory. In this virtual machine, sorry, in this virtual machine, I have installed uh, the Starwind iSCSI target software, and I've created uh, an iSCSI target purely based on RAM. So it's six gigabytes of physical RAM that this iSCSI target is hosting. At my ESX host, when I'm going to the configuration, I have uh, added the iSCSI target at the software iSCSI initiator. Here it is. And the disk is 6 gigabytes. And uh, when I'm going to storage, you will see that I have created a data store called RAM. And it's nearly filled up because I already uh, hosted a virtual machine on this data store. And this data store is a VMFS data store. Uh, and it's connected to the iSCSI target on the Windows 2008 server. So when I'm hopping over to my newly created virtual machine, the VM RAM, I'm looking at a virtual machine uh, that is purely running on physical memory. Physical memory provided through the software iSCSI initiator, and I'm going to show you some awesome figures. I'm starting HD, uh, HD Tune Pro, and uh, it's creating a heavy disk load on the RAM. And at the same time, we are going to look at ESX Top, and we will see what this guy is doing. So what you have to monitor is the device latency, the kernel latency, and also the MBs, the MBs that are uh, written. And you will see that it's going up now. My device latency is still at 0 0.14. But when I peek at my HD Tune Pro, I'm at 150 MB, MB write, 200 MB read, and it's still rising. I'm going to 300 MB's read, and the write latency is nearly 200. So the device latency is rising a little bit, but not problematic. It's It will stay far under 10 milliseconds, or eight. And it's now at five dot, it's now at 10, because I'm writing large pages, but uh, it's still doing uh, nearly 350 MB's reading while doing nearly 200 MB's writing. So this is real fast. When you want to uh, error scan a disk, and I'm starting the scan, this is blowing your mind. It, it goes around 200 MB's per second for, for an error scan. Also zero zeroing out the disk is really uh, fast. So there are some other uh, things we can measure in this virtual machine. Let's take a peek at this guy. Ah, it's doing okay. So when I'm going to uh, when I'm going to the extra tests, I can look at how many IOPS per second uh, the different reads are doing. And you will see that it's doing around 200 MBs. I think this is a limitation of the software iSCSI initiator. Uh, not the RAM, but it's still pretty, pretty fast. So you will see a lot of burst size and uh, it's doing fine. It's doing 200 MBs per second. So there are a lot of cheap systems which offer uh, relatively low cost RAM. And what you can consider is creating a virtual appliance and using the RAM as uh, a virtual disk. Uh, the only problem is when this virtual machine is powered off, you will lose your complete VMFS. So maybe you can make this virtual machine full tolerant and then you can host the memory of this virtual machine on two ESX servers. But this is just a proof of concept, just to see uh, how fast uh, memory uh, performs when you are putting a VMFS on it. You will see that it's really fast. So, uh, if you are doing any experience experiments, please let me know. And uh, I'm curious what your findings are. Bye. 